Hello, and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you today. My name is Megan McGrath, and I am a student nurse in the undergraduate nursing program at Regis College, and I am here representing Nurses United at this hearing. I am here to testify in support of HR 2069, the Stopping the Pharmaceutical Industry from Keeping Drugs Expensive, or SPIKE for short, Act. This bill will require drug manufacturers to have price transparency, therefore requiring them to submit written justification for certain increases in drug prices. This bill will require Health and Human Services Secretary to notify manufacturers of drugs that meet one of these two tests. Number one, the drug is at least $10 per dose and had a price increase of at least 300% over five years or 100% over one year. Or two, the drug represents the top 50th percentile of net drug spending in the Medicare or Medicaid programs and had a price increase of at least 50% over five years or 15% over one year. I'm supporting this bill as a young person in our healthcare system because I have seen firsthand the effects of patients not taking their medications as prescribed. These are medications that are keeping people alive and healthy, such as diabetes medications, heart medications, and medications for cancer and chronic illnesses. As of today, our country has no drug price regulations. In a report from the House Committee of Ways and Means, Americans pay on average four times more for drugs than other countries, and in some cases, 67 times more for the same drug. This act is just the first step in addressing the prescription drug price crisis that plagues our country. The U.S. can use Germany as a guide in fixing this issue, as Germany has, had, has a very similar health care system to the U.S., but has significantly lower drug prices. In Germany, they have negotiations between an umbrella organization that represents the insurers and the drug maker. In the U.S., drug manufacturers set the prices of new medications and patent these medications so that other companies cannot produce a similar medication for a cheaper price and there are no repercussions for having these excessively high prices. A Kaiser Family Foundation poll found that 29% of Americans failed to take their medications as prescribed because of the cost, and 19% of those reported that they did not fill the prescription, and 12% said that they cut pills in half or skipped a dose. The lack of control in our pharmaceutical companies in our country has become an issue that nobody can ignore, and I ask that you also support H.R. 2069, the Spike Act, to provide the first step in fixing this crisis. Thank you again for listening to my testimony, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have.